Hello everybody, hope you're all fit and well. Stephen Clark back again with a light-hearted look at the Thailand's latest news. And sometimes not so light-hearted. A woman lives behind 13 kilos of gold by accident at the Chiang Mai airport. Whoops. Five meter king cobra interrupted lunching on a monitor lizard in the Krabi area. A not so nice look at I'm not for sale in Thailand. Yingwat Shinwak, ex prime minister of Thailand, gets Serbian citizenship. But first up, uh, Richard Burroughs and the TM30 form and problems he's having with his visa from Thai immigration. Here's a special report from Mark Loveridge on the Richard Burroughs situation as it's developing. As some of you may or may not know of Richard Burroughs, he's a famous uh, vlogger in Thailand and writes a little bit for the Bangkok Post. He's also a school teacher. He recently did a petition about the TM30, which everybody knows about in the Thailand genre. Anyway, he's just been refused his visa. He went to Summit Pakran. They've just extended it for one more week. Now, it doesn't look good for Richard. Uh, I've got to say that. But hopefully, he'll get his new visa by the end of next week. The Thai immigration have not given him any answers why he's been refused. Okay, this is Mark Leverage reporting for Talk Back Thailand. Thank you very much. Fresh from Chiang Mai Airport, discovered and returned a very special bag of ornaments left behind by one of the passengers. A mysterious package was left lying around the Chiang Mai International Airport this Monday at around 8.30 a.m. It turns out that a passenger traveling with Nok Air heading for Dong Myung Airport in Bangkok, well, the passenger left a black backpack at security checkpoint on the way to her flight. Things like this can happen, but not to this degree. As you could imagine, police didn't want this story going viral until they contacted the bag lever behind her. And now she is reunited with her treasure trove of 10 million baht worth of gold. Yes, that's right, 10 million baht worth of gold she left at the airport security. Security officers waited for the person to return to pick up the backpack, but they never returned. So they notified the airport explosive ordnance disposal team to make sure the backpack was safe. It was x-rayed inside to confirm what was inside of it. And yes, it did belong in a safe. 10 million baht worth of gold. The EAD officer checked the bag and found it contained treasure trove of gold ornaments weighing at 10.3 kilograms. Now that's going to give you one big mouthful of gold teeth. Well, lucky for the passenger that left it behind, they wrapped one of the uh, ornaments in a plastic bag and left a address on it, which they got and contacted them that they'd left 10 million baht worth of gold at the airport security check-in. Apart from noticing that the 10 kilo bag would have taken them over the maximum weight for carry-on. Anyway, she caught the plane back to Chiang Mai, I suppose as fast as she could fly. Mightn't have even used the plane, actually. And CTC footage showed it was her that did belong to the bag. The owner asked the officers to keep her name sort of uh, private and didn't want anybody knowing who she was or who the company she worked for. She told police she was just in a hurry to catch her flight. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? I wonder if she had children with her. Maybe they're missing too. A five meter cobra interrupted while munching on a monitor lizard in the Krabi area. Volunteer snake catchers from the Pitak Pracha Rescue Foundation were called into a house in Krabi. The owner of the Krabi house arrived home and heard her dogs barking. She went to investigate and found a King Cobra was about to devour a monitor lizard that he had caught. The owner of the house said that the monitor lizard's tail was still hanging out of the snake's mouth. She called the rescue volunteers who caught the snake, but, but the suspected monitor lizard dinner was beyond retrieval. The five meter reptile needed six people to handle it. Big snake, big, big, big snake. To uh, do some selfies of the uh, snake, you know, uh, to hold it up. It's a big snake. Yeah, that's, that's a big snake, five meters, yeah. Then it was released back into the wild. It was not smiling for the cameras, mind you. The selfie shots. The sort of story I really don't want to read out, but it's there. British alleged pedophile nabbed while hiding in Pattaya. The Department of Special Investigations has arrested an alleged British sex offender who was hiding in Pattaya. UK officials contacted Thai police to help 
arrest a convicted criminal over 16 counts related to child sex abuse and other charges. The police colonel representing the Thai police from the DSI said his department was contacted by the British National Crime Agency on August the 6th. An arrest warrant had been issued on July the 23rd for the arrest of a British man. 80-year-old Norman Lunt, a British citizen, he has been arrested on charges relating to child sex abuse. Nine counts of sexual abuse, two counts of sexual assault, and five counts of rape, according to the DSI. How these, how these guys are ever let out of their country, it just totally amuses me. Why let them out of your country? I mean, same with Australia, same with America, same with England. Don't let them out of the country. What, so they can go to Asia and continue their predatory hunting? Just take their passports off them so they can't hurt anybody else. This needs to be stopped from the countries it's originating from. Anyway, enough said on that subject. Yingloch Shinawak, Thailand's first female premier, gets Serbian citizenship. The former Prime Minister of Thailand, who fled the country two years ago to avoid imprisonment on corruption charges, has been granted Serbian citizenship, according to the Serbian government webpage. The Serbian president, Aleksandar Fusis, told reporters on Thursday that he favoured giving he favoured giving citizenship to selected foreigners and hinted that Ms. Shinalok had become a Serbian citizen, but he declined to discuss specific cases but he declined to discuss specific cases in detail. The Serbian government granted her the citizenship because it would be in the interest of Serbia. Serbian officials did not comment on the reason behind the decision. The Serbian leader was also quoted as saying he sees no problem with giving out granting passports as long as it uh, benefited uh, Serbia. Well, you know, okay, fair enough. Shinalok fled Thailand in 2017, shortly before the Thai courts convicted her and sentenced her to five years of jail. She fled to Britain where she was given a 10-year visa. Shinalok has always denied the charges and has said the court was a jaunter witch hunt that was designed to get her whole family out of politics. Mrs. Shinawak is now following in her brother's footsteps, Tuxen Shinawak, who was actually a former Prime Minister himself in 2006, was kicked out of office by another coup. It will be interesting to see how this all pans out in the future. So what did you guys think of this video? There's some very interesting subjects in there. It'd be great to get a discussion going in the comments below. And don't forget every Saturday and Sunday night, 5 p.m. Thai time, Talk Back Thailand. Anyhow, that's it from me. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you very soon.